Well, a friendly competition leads to a whole new look. Constellation employees did a little sprucing up at Lombard Middle, turning it into Crossroads School. ABC 2 News Press Slate shows you how a little cleaning, a new coat of paint, help give the charter school a whole new makeover. Today we're here at the Crossroads School. We have five teams within Constellation that are competing against each other to win for the best mural. They're all really excited and there's some uh, really great competitive spirit going on here. A lot of smack talking. There is a lot of talking, but it's mostly painting through the Living Classrooms Foundation. The nonprofit runs a variety of education and workforce development programs throughout Baltimore. Constellation has been a great partner in helping us paint and beautify and clean and really transform the building into something that we consider a better learning environment for our students. The school is a good school, but um, having just extra color and everything, it just really does motivate the kids, you know, to just, just come in and know that one, people care about the community because we're all in the community and we're just giving back, and two, that we really want to be here for their success and that schools are fun and enjoying. So, Whenever they walk past this hallway, instead of it just being white and plain, they're going to have colors that represent them of, like, you know, what the school is committed to them and to the parents and to the community. The commitment from Constellation goes beyond a new coat of paint and lasts throughout the year. We volunteer with them throughout the year. We have about 50 mentors that mentor students on a bi-weekly basis, and we've really developed a relationship with the students and the school. Uh, so we're, we're really excited to partner with Living Classrooms and the Crossroads School. So I think our students are really, they're going to notice the huge difference. They're going to notice that the school looks and feels better. And they're also, you know, going to appreciate and understand that other people cared enough about them to come out here and spend their day helping. Downtown, Fred Slade Fort, ABC2 News. All right, speaking of schools, time to start thinking about going back to school. And we need to make sure students are ready for the classroom. ABC2 once again proud to team up with the Preston Mitchum Jr. Foundation and the Young School for our back to school drive. So from now until August 22nd, that clock's ticking, you can drop off school supplies at several locations. You can find a full list of locations on our website at abc2news.com slash school supplies. We'll be right back.